from the storm here in Columbia as the Gamecocks play host to the Florida Gators. Hurricane Ian be making its way, uh, the remnants of it making its way through Columbia later tonight uh, in the early morning hours and throughout tomorrow. So we'll have some gusty winds here tonight. Might see a little rain before we're done, but we'll kick this things off and get this thing started. The 36th meeting between the Gators and the Gamecocks. Florida in orange, Gamecocks in white, and we're underway. South Carolina at 6-2-3 overall, 1-2 in the SEC. Florida at 2-8, looking for their first league win at 0-3. Alongside Nancy Goffey, I'm Brad Muller. Appreciate you joining us here this evening. And Florida, well, both these teams, Nancy, as we mentioned, boy, wouldn't both these teams love to get an early goal to try to spark their struggling offenses? Yeah, something that neither of these teams have. And it would be great for e each of these teams to gain some confidence going into the, well, the later part of the SEC season for them. These two teams near the bottom of the SEC in scoring. South Carolina has scored just 15 goals in their previous 11 games, which is 12th in the league. But they're still sixth in the SEC in terms of giving up, or rather uh, tied for fourth in the SEC in terms of surrendering goals. They've only given up six in those 11 games. Florida is last in the league, just 10 goals scored in their 10 games. And they've surrendered 22, which is also last in the league. When Florida gave up three goals against Georgia in their last match, which was definitely uncharacteristic of the Florida Gator team that we know, Gamecocks trying to get on the attack early. They're coming off the loss to a good Arkansas team here. And reigning three-time SEC champion Arkansas team. Won here 1-0 in the last matchup. Here comes Peyton Patrick out on the wing. She can't catch up to it. I mean, but already the Gamecocks are putting the Gators under pressure, getting the ball up the field. A little bit different starting lineup for Coach Shelly Smith and the Gamecocks. Peyton Patrick in there, the sophomore. Some other youngsters we'll talk about. Uh, we mentioned Shea O'Rourke in the open. Uh, she's making her fourth start, usually comes off the bench. Megan Spees, a sophomore, also into the starting lineup. Get it into the box, looking for O'Rourke there, but the pass goes wide and we'll have a goal kick. Our first look at Alexa Goldberg, the junior keeper for the Gators. She started every match this year, second in the SEC in saves. Started, yeah, she, yep. she had a, gr a few great saves against Georgia, their last match, but unfortunately gave up three goals and those all three of those goals were on crosses, corner kicks, so her defense needs to be a little tighter, a little bit more disciplined in the box. Started every game last year as well and led the SEC in saves. Gators under the direction of Samantha Bohan in her first year, second year in a row, the Gators have had a new coach for this once powerful program in the SEC trying to get back there, but they've got some work to do. Coach Bohan spent 15 years as the head coach at Embry-Riddle Division II School in Daytona Beach. What an opportunity for her. And Bohan only took over this program in May, so she mm -hmm. didn't even have a spring season to get to know the players, figure out what system would work, and just kind of get a good hold on things. And so she's a little late to the game, but it seems like she's got a good group of girls that are that kind of buy in, and they're still trying to find their aden identity. Aaron pass by the Gamecocks in the midfield, turns it over to Florida. Perello along the far sideline for the Gators, the sophomore. Scored her first career goal earlier this year against Tennessee. Here's O'Rourke up top for the Gamecocks, trying to settle it down, and a whistle will stop play. Offsides, I believe, on the Gamecocks. Talked about to Samantha Bohan of Florida, Coach Shelly Smith of South Carolina, the opposite in her 22nd year here at South Carolina. Nine straight NCAA tournaments, 14 overall. Five trips to the Elite Eight and the College Cup appearance semifinalist in 2017. And Coach Smith and her husband, Coach Amy Smith, they've raised raised the standard, raised the bar here mm -hmm. for the Gamecocks and, and continue to get better. They're they're struggling now on the offensive end, but um, it was they had a similar season last year and found a way and made it all the way to the Elite Eight. So. Yeah, they got hot at the right time last year as the regular season was winding down and into the postseason, as you mentioned, on that run. Here's Cat Berry up top, was trying to slip it through there to Peyton Patrick. Couldn't do it. I really like Cat Berry in this, this more of a hacking mid role. She's able to distribute. She attracts a lot of attention, so if she's able to get it and, and play it off, then 
yep. he's able to create a little bit. Yeah, it's a little different look. Usually she's up front, but Shea works in there right now as again, you mentioned Coach Shelly Smith trying to mix things up to jumpstart this offense. Just one goal in their last four games. They're one, two, and one in those four games. In fact, in the SEC play, in the three SEC matches, both South Carolina and Florida have scored just one goal. Back to Florida here as they'll try to get into the attacking end. Yeah, you can see both teams are trying to get into a rhythm. Florida with its two wins this year, a win at Stetson and a home win against South Florida. Gamecocks trying to get on the attack here, looking for Spees, but the Gators break it up. Some contact there. Off of Spees and into touch, Florida will throw it in. I like the effort from Spees there. It's the 36th meeting between the two schools. Florida leads the overall series 22-11-2, but the Gamecocks won last year in Gainesville 2-1 after Florida scored early, but the Gamecocks rallied. Cat Berry had the game winner late in the 77th minute. And Claire Griffiths, who's starting again here tonight, a 60-year player, had both assists in that matchup. Gators looking to put one on frame here, perhaps, but broken up by South Carolina's defense. And again, that, if you're not familiar, that's been South Carolina's calling cards during most of the Smith era here is their defense. Now they need some help with their offense. Slip there does Peyton Patrick. No rain yet, but still lost her footing. Gamecocks able to maintain the possession for the moment. Peyton Patrick loses it there. Patrick making her 10th start of the year. Had the game winner against Georgia a week ago. The Gamecocks won in Athens, 1-0. Now we're seeing some new players in this Gamecock lineup. New starters, I should say. Megan Spees, got Taylor Jacobson. Looking ahead for Corey Peace. And the Gamecocks take it away. That was Gracie Follow, the freshman who started all but one game this year. Playing well back there. Tori Grambo, it's redshirt sophomore, making her third start of the year for the Florida Gators. Scoreless here, just underway in the first half in Columbia. Griffiths will play it back. Along the far sideline, Gamecocks looking to get something started here. They get it across to O'Rourke. They're looking for Cap Berry up front, but Gamecocks unable to connect. Now that was the start of a great combination, but the, the pass was picked off. In this series, South Carolina has won two in a row and five of the last six. The one outlier, outlier was a tie during those last six matchups. Off of Spees of the Gamecocks, it looked like it'll go to Florida. Nope. I say South Carolina will throw it in. Cam Dixon, one of the co-captains, is looking for O'Rourke, but skips past her. It'll play it back to the keeper, Alexa Goldberg. Deleon plays it forward. There's Leskowska, as we told you about her in the open. Takes the most shots for the Gators. Has two goals, which is tied for the team lead. And one against Texas and one against South Florida. Again, they're looking for peace up ahead, but the Gamecocks break it up. And offsides on Florida. That wasn't a bad look. You know, the, the Gamecock defense, they tend to do a good job of getting numbers behind the ball. But in, in, a, in transition, if Florida can get that ball forward and get it up and over that that back line, they might find some space there. For both of these teams with the scoring droughts they've had and really have had to play a lot of defense from what we've seen, especially in the last game with South Carolina, that first half against Arkansas, they were on the defensive end, the defensive half of the field uh, much of that first half. Is it a technical thing? Is it confidence, a little of both? I, I definitely think there's a little bit, of, a little lack of confidence from the Gamecocks. I feel like they're doubting their ability to go forward, to create, to, to take chances. And they're they're also just not 
taking as many risks in that final third, which is exactly where you can take risks. First look at Heather Hinn, South Carolina's keeper, the senior. Has seven shutouts on the year, has started every match the last couple of years. Taken away by the Gators, opportunity, but Jaleesa Harris steps in front, the all-SEC defender. Here's Shea O'Rourke now, the freshman trying to make a move, plays it forward, has got Patrick there on the far sideline. And you can see Kat Berry trying to get herself into the box. Patrick was looking for Berry, but broken up nicely by the Florida defense. Delaney Tulsil got a foot on it to prevent a shot, and the Gamecocks will have an opportunity here. And that's something we really haven't seen from the, the Gamecock outside backs in a while. This is outside defenders. They have the freedom to attack and get into that final third, get crosses and create opportunities. And we just haven't seen that. Long throw in here for Griffiths, looking for Cat Berry. Flicks Headed. it on. Yep. Knocked out by DeLeon. Berry's such a great target in there with her size. She's listed at six feet tall, but she can get up as well. Look for her again here, and she's triple teamed. <laughs> oh, great job by Florida. You can see they're putting someone in front of her and behind her. Yeah, into the side just in case. <laughs> they're not going to get her, give her any room. She's got it in between a couple of defenders now, and that strike is blocked over the end line. It'll be a corner kick for South Carolina, the first of the match. And another great look by Kat Berry. She split those defenders. She had a little, a little window there, but great defense by Florida to block it. Barry's led the Gamecocks in goals, shots, and shots on goal the previous two seasons. Tied for the team lead with three goals this year. Megan Spees will take the corner for the Gamecocks. Sends that one towards the box looking for Barry. It looked like she had slipped before she could get to it. Jacobson plays it to O'Rourke on the near side. The freshman is crafty, makes her move. Wanted a call, may have been a little jersey tug, but they'll let him play on, and it'll be a goal kick to Florida. Goldberg will restart things here for the Gators. Goldberg's been a good one for them the last couple of years. Last year in a match against South Florida, she had 13 saves in the match. That was the second most in Florida history. And nobody gets on the end of that. Bounces and now it's at Florida's feet. Into the attacking end come the Gators. You can see Barton looking to get the ball. Perello had it broken up momentarily by Griffiths. And Gators trying to form the attack here. Tried to sneak that one through, but Sam Chang stepped in front. Chang named to the SEC preseason watch list for South Carolina in the midfield. Gamecocks play it through to O'Rourke. Can she catch up to it? He's got one defender, and the Gator defense catches up to it. Oh, great step over. To Just was, great yeah, composure. Yeah, Corey Peace, I believe, that was the one hustled down there for Florida. Who's going to settle it down? Cam Dixon now. It's the Florida team. We told you the new coaching staff for the second year in a row. and They had a tough year last year under just the one-year coach. Uh, last year, Tony Amato, who was uh, dismissed after one year, went 4-12 and 4-3-6 and 1 in the SEC. It was their worst year in program history. And they'd like to get back to where they are, they've always been, which is usually in the postseason in the top 15 in the country. And I think Coach Bohan can certainly do that. Back in the day, she played at, at Duke and had some national team experience. So she brings a wealth of experience and then 15 years at Embry-Riddle, so All right. I think she'll be a great match. She's a Florida native. Cameron Hall plays it as they go to the wide side for the Gators. And Delaney Tausel. Well, Florida's doing great just moving that ball around, trying to create some space to play into. 
Josie Curtis couldn't find anything. Florida trying to get a first half goal and try to end a, an ugly stretch for them. Again, a five game losing streak for them. They lost 5-0 to Florida State, the defending national champs, but also a big rival. Lost a close one to East Carolina, 2-1. And lost to Tennessee in another close one, 2-1. to one. Lost 1-0 one to Ole Miss, and then, as we talked about earlier, took a tough loss against Georgia on Sunday, 3-0. And that will host Arkansas next Thursday. It doesn't get any easier. <laughs> yeah, Arkansas, they are a tough team to play against. Yeah, they're very aggressive offensively. Had a good chance to watch them last week. And definitely a, a contrasting style than what, uh, what South Carolina has been. Both these teams looking to get some offense going. We're 15 minutes in and nothing doing for either team. No shots officially for either squad. Florida ranks last in the SEC in shots and points. So they're trying to find somebody to make something happen. Josie Curtis will throw it in for Florida. There's Cat Berry at midfield, finds O'Rourke. She'll play it ahead, but taken away by the Gators, was looking for Brianna Bem. Breaking it up is Gracie Fala. And Peace, you can see she's got some speed up there. The Gamecocks have to keep an eye on her. If yeah. she gets an inch, yeah, she Corey, can beat you. Yeah, Corey Peace, the senior. Peace was named to the all-freshman team a few years back. Here's Sam Chang. It can be interesting with the uh, storm coming. Well, first, here come the Gamecocks on the attack as they get it across midfield looking for Cat Berry, but too much on that one. Easy play for Goldberg. As the night goes on and the wind gusts start to pick up, it kind of comes and goes right now, but see if that has a factor or plays a factor in the match, you know, on any balls that are punted or any, if anyone tries to go over the top one way or the other, get something up in that jet stream that might be coming with uh, Hurricane Ian. Could, could be a factor. Yep, it could be. <laughs> it could help or it could hurt you. Right, <laughs> depending which way you're going. Exactly. Could be dangerous on set pieces. Yep. Changing the trajectory of the ball. Gamecocks, we told you they have just 15 goals in their 11 matches coming into tonight. Foul there on the Gators. Only three of their 15 goals have come in the first half, so they have been a slow starting team offensively. Another look at the foul here is Chang. He's got their feet tangled up from behind. Gators pressing forward. Dixon. Dixon looking for Cat Berry. Got a couple of orange jerseys around her as always. Peyton Patrick was hoping for a turnover. They get it here. Brianna Bem has it under control. Fighting to the top of the 18, broken up. Had Cat Berry open to her right, but a good defensive play to deny that pass. It would have been a 1v1. Oh, that was a great look by Bem. And Bem had a great, great game against Arkansas. Look at the speed of Peace here. She's able to, her fall is able to catch up with it for South Carolina. Shea O'Rourke, she's streaking, trying to find it, the ball in the seams. But again, you know, the Gamecocks are struggling with that final pass. Yeah, they struggle to connect passes to, to get that third and fourth pass to connect. Yeah, it's like they're misreading each other. Mm -hmm. There's peace. Yep, the Looking to just like knock that ball over and run onto it. She would love a foot race. <laughs> yeah, she's got some wheels. We've seen that already. Jaleesa Harris trying to keep it under control and then, no, it'll stay in. Yeah. 
This game was originally scheduled for tomorrow night, but obviously with the hurricane coming through and the, the really bad weather coming through Columbia overnight tonight and all day tomorrow, necessitated it being pushed up a day. And out to Curtis. Decides to go inside, great turn. Laskowskis with a shot over the crossbar, wow. Quick trigger by Julianne Laskowskis, but too high. First shot of the night, and it was a pretty good one. Yeah, and then a great inside turn by Laskowskis. And Heather Hintz does a great job covering covering the goal. No I love that. They need to test, each, like both of these keepers need to be tested. Well, the way she turned and was able to get that shot off so quickly, I think will be a signal to the defense that you can't really allow her to touch it that <laughs> close to the box because, boy, the way she was able to, to turn and shoot almost all in one motion was pretty impressive. And that was a rocket of a shot. Yeah, got a lot on it, too. And it was, it was almost on frame. But nothing doing as we approach the midpoint of the first half. Gamecocks get it across towards the far sideline, trying to make a run. Is that Jacobson? Yep, Taylor Jacobson, the sophomore, trying to make the turn. And it'll be a corner kick for the Gamecocks or a goal kick? Let's see. And it'll be a goal kick. Jacobson trying to get it off the defender, but couldn't do it. But I like that look, the up, back, through. It was a good look. The defense didn't see her running forward, and they caught him off guard. Here come and the Gators looking to do the same thing. Yep. They should be feeling a little more confident. They got a great shot off. De Leon plays that one forward. Here's Leskowskis again. He's got a 1v1 opportunity saved by Heather Hins. Follow-up shot is blocked. What a defensive play by the senior goalkeeper to deny the Gators. Well, she got tested there. The Hens clearing it along the far sideline, but wow, the Gators got what they wanted, a 1v1 with the keeper, and Hens able to make the play. Here it is. And got, just got inside. And you can see Heather Hens does a great job of cutting off the angle, coming out and making herself big. Yeah, if she hesitates, that's probably a goal for Leskowskis, but instead we're still scoreless in the bid point of the first half. Heck of a save there by Heather Hens after some nifty footwork again by Leskowskis. Definitely someone the Gamecocks need to keep an eye on in and near the box. Leskowskis, a junior New Jersey native. She actually transferred from Rutgers after her freshman year. Here come the Gamecocks the other way, looking for Peyton Patrick on the far sideline. Grambo is there defensively. Yep. Patrick. Yeah, we've got them at the six. Catberry pulls out. Barry, three orange jerseys around her, makes a turn but loses the handle. Good defense there by the Gators after what looked to be a good setup for South Carolina. I would have been surprised if she came, came out with that ball. She had three players on her. Heather Hins comes way off the line to send that one across midfield. And here come the Gamecocks on the attack once again. Jacobson planning it out to Peyton Patrick. Can she get a touch on it? She does. Got a Rourke in front of the goal, couldn't get it. Here's Bem on the other side. Gamecocks putting the pressure on, but unable to get shots off. It created some opportunities, but still without a shot tonight. Florida has three, and we'll get our first subs. Abby Hugo checks in for the Gamecocks, a senior from Cary, North Carolina. She'll pick up Griffiths. Karina Zula will also check in, a junior New Jersey native. Now let's see if Zula can use that speed and exploit that that channel, that wide channel there. Here's Barry trying to make the turn. Some good defensive work there again by the Gators. Now De Leon's been solid yep. in the back for Florida. Quickly in Cam Dixon and nothing doing. Some good setups by South Carolina, but no shots and had a terrific save on the other end by the South Carolina keeper, Heather Hinn. So a little bit of action in the last couple of minutes in front of either goal. Here's Laskowskis again. Now she's working on both ends of the field. Yep. Back to Goldberg. De Leon, the junior California native, started every game. 
Taken away by Abby Hugo. I'll play that back to Hins. And the Gamecocks are playing a lot in their own end, I think unnecessarily. Here's Cat yep, here's Kat Berry trying to flip the pitch. Got Zulo in front of her, doesn't see her, and poked out again by Deleon, who's done some good work back there. Barry to Zillow and broken up again. Not enough on that pass. Kat Barry with one, one player on her, able to spin and face. She's got Jacobson. Yep, she also had Bim the other way at the top of the 18. They go to the wide side of the field. Broken up again by Tori Grambo for Florida, and the Gamecocks will throw it in. Grambo missed last year with a foot injury. She did have a goal against the Gamecocks and a loss back in 2020. Taylor Jacobson, the sophomore from Orlando, will toss it in for South Carolina. And a little chip there, handled easily by Goldberg. Had to save it from going over the end line in an easy play for the Florida keeper. Now the pace picking up in terms of seeing some play in front of the goal as opposed to the, the midfield, but neither team with anything to show for it. Goldberg short of midfield. Hugo will play it back to Heather Hins under pressure here. Follow the freshman to Sam Chang in the midfield. And that Look. final pass. Yep, that's been the Achilles heel for South Carolina this year. I really like when the Gamecocks move the ball quickly. However, they need to take an extra touch and make it a quality pass, getting it to to Barry up top. Off the restart, Gators in South Carolina territory. Towsel. We're looking at the top of the box for Tessa Barton, but the Gamecocks break it up. Oh, they had Cat Barry along the far sideline, couldn't get it to her. Here's Leskowskis. She'll try the far sideline. Broken up. And good job by Peyton Patrick coming back to help win that ball. Scoreless here in Columbia on a breezy night with the big storm coming. Bam, trying to settle it down. See Peyton Patrick just looking for someone to play. Here's Barry again. Not enough on that. Tessa Barton in the midfield. Along the near sideline, it comes to Curtis. Oh, and a big pile up there. As Cam Dixon and Curtis got tangled up. Some subs in for the Gators. Olivia Gonzalez checks in, a senior from Palm Harbor, Florida, has a couple of goals tied for the team lead. Be a goal kick here to South Carolina. Both teams' offensive struggles continuing here in a scoreless first half. Stoppage of play here. What's this all about? Get a sub in. Evelyn Hahn will check in for South Carolina. A senior from Lake Wiley, South Carolina. Zulu moving over to the right side where I think she's probably more comfortable. Hahn just got in. She's got the ball at her feet already. Gets it again. The game will find you, right? <laughs> She's got Barry in front of her. She'll chase it down the line. 
Kat Berry. She's got a one-on-one. -on -one. She's going to try to get across. She pops it up. You've got Zulo on that backside. Doesn't quite get it. But Evelyn Hahn. She'll try it from the other side. <laughs> and a corner kick for South Carolina here. Fifteen minutes to play in the first half. Gamecocks with an opportunity out of a set piece. They don't get a lot of corners to the Gamecocks. Tenth in the league in corner kicks. Jaleesa Harris, the senior, will take it. She's got a strong leg. 93rd consecutive start for Jaleesa Harris. She will be missed on this team next yep. year. Hits it with the left foot. Hits it pretty low. Evelyn Hahn's there. Shot was, yeah, shot was blocked by Corey Peace. And Cox missed an opportunity there. Here's Zulo. Can keep it in. Talked about Zulo. That's someone the Gamecocks really want to get going. Had five goals coming off the bench primarily last season and really unable to get anything going this year in terms of finding the back of the net. But from what they've seen in the past, they know what she's capable of for whatever reason. It just hasn't happened for her. I and mean, they're hoping that <laughs> she'll peak at yep. the right time, just like the team. And that's what they did last year. Got hot at the end of the season and through the postseason. Got to the Elite Eight for the fifth time under Coach Shelley Smith. Little heel pass to Leskowskis, who makes a nifty move herself there. She's so quick on the ball. Tackle there by Dixon and a late whistle will work against the Gamecocks. So an opportunity here for the Gators after the foul. Take another look. Unless Houskis, <laughs> Cam Dixon just holds her ground. Yep. Opportunity for the Gators. Laskowskis and Curtis. Kauskas will take it, sends it towards the far post, but it bends not in enough. And the Gamecocks will have a goal kick. Another sub for the Gators. Ashley Tudis checks in, a freshman from Palm Harbor, Florida, playing in her ninth game off the bench. Lisa Harris. Ooh, dangerous pass in front of the goal. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if I ever made that pass, my, my coach just would have lit me up. Yep. You, Not a pass you want to make. Gamecocks looking to get on the attack. They get it across midfield. Zulu over there. Trying to make the turn. Sends that one looking for Han near the near post. Nothing doing. Yeah, better opportunity, better chance from Karina Zulo keeping that cross in. Now Dixon will take the throw in. Here's Abby Hugo. Back out to Cam Dixon. Dixon towards the top of the box. Zulo couldn't get enough on it, and it's an easy play for Goldberg. Kind of a miss hit, perhaps. Good pass, just couldn't quite get enough on it. And that, that was a tough one. She was. Yep facing the sideline while shooting on goal. So it's hard getting your hips around and, get, and getting power on it. Yeah. Still scoreless here with 11 and a half minutes to play in the opening half. Here come the Gators now. See if they play it wide. They were looking on the near side to Tudis, but the Gamecocks break it up. Cat Berry in the midfield, unable to hold on to it. Daily on looking for peace. Hugo surveys, has Bem in front of her, but plays it back. Now South Carolina is going backwards quite a bit. 
Elisa Harris will try the far sideline with they've got Zulo up in front. Coach Shelly Smith trying to find the right combination to get this offense going. Yeah, and she's really just looking for someone to step up, yep. lead, lead this team. South Carolina just one goal in their last four matches. That was a late goal in the 1-0 win at Georgia a week ago. And for a team like Florida, who has struggled as well, offensively losers of five straight. Obviously, keeping this game scoreless as long as they can, playing on the road, gives might give them a little shot in the arm. Big collision at midfield, but we'll play on. Here's Cat Berry. Cat Berry with some room to run in front of her. Barry into the 18 and recovers, shot, blocked, falls on top of it. Does Alexa Goldberg. Best chance of the night for the Gamecocks. And great job by Goldberg to hold on, to keep it in front of her. And you can see the Florida defenders shielding Cat Barry. Cat Barry threw a couple of defenders, got a good shot off, a good hard shot. Unable to get the follow up as Goldberg pounced on top of it. Headed out by Jaleesa Harris, and now Florida will have to throw it in front of the Carolina bench. Here come the Gators, Gonzalez, has it broken up? Jaleesa Harris. Blocked, and there's Heather Hens to scoop it up. We've been talking about some of the dangerous play in front of their own goal, and that one almost came back to bite the Gamecocks. With Gonzalez pressing up like that. Yeah, they're, the Gamecocks are taking unnecessary risks in, the, in their defensive end. Sam Chang, or rather Hugo. You can see Bam asking for it, and that's a great switch. Yep, she's got a lot of room in front of her. Got Barry in front of her. A couple of defenders collapse, the give and go, unable to do anything with it. But Florida does a great job of just collapsing and getting, like, narrowing themselves. Heather Hens able to poke that one free. Some good pressure by Corey Peace once again, though, for Florida. She's got a motor on her. Gamecocks are just taking a little too long to get that ball forward. Bam trying to catch up to this one. She's got it. Barry's in the middle of the field. Lots of space. But lots of space. I know she was trying to, wanted to face up and take on De Leon. Wasn't able to. Instead, the Gators will throw it in. It's the Gamecocks miss an opportunity to set something up there. 7.15 to play in the first half here in Columbia. Alongside Nancy Goffey, I'm Brad Muller. Thanks for joining us on your Thursday night, wherever you are. It's actually a busy night here in Columbia. It wasn't supposed to be. Again, we were supposed to play this game tomorrow night. And uh, South Carolina football also playing at home tonight, which probably uh, drawn some of the crowd from here. Uh, or not a lot of folks there either with uh, the impending bad weather coming in tonight as the Gamecocks go to their bench, Lily Render into the contest. South Carolina football playing South Carolina State about a mile from here tonight. That game was supposed to be Saturday, but because of the effects of Hurricane Ian, the game pushed to tonight. Here's Hahn, trying to get something started. Top of the box, opportunity here for Montgomery. Shot, not enough on it. Goldberg is there again. Shea Montgomery, the freshman out of Virginia. He's played in 10 games off the bench now, trying to get something started there for South Carolina. I mean, I, and I like that. You know, coming off the bench, you need to raise the level, raise the intensity. Try to give your, your team a spark. Both teams have three shots. All three of South Carolina's have been on frame. And not really dangerous. Nope. Right at the keeper. Back to Florida here. And 
mentioned, Florida will host Arkansas next Thursday. Gamecocks on the road a week from tonight at Mississippi State. And a top 25 showdown there. Heather Hens will scoop this up. And that's not going to be an easy one. Nope. Mississippi State's doing very well this season. Playing it down the line. That, I thought that would be a call. Yeah, they're going to let them play into the middle of the field. Gamecocks unable to take advantage. And that pass was a bit rushed by Shea Montgomery. Lisa Harris trying to keep this out of Corey Peace's feet. Less than five minutes to play in the first half. Scoreless game. Both teams have had some chances. Ooh, and there's a hard foul from behind. That was after the fact. Yeah. Oakley Rasmussen, I believe, came in and has flattened one of the Gamecocks. I think that was Lily Render. Gamecocks with a little touch here. Zullo on the far side, an opportunity into the 18. Zullo inside looking for Montgomery, nothing doing. Oh, it's so unselfish of yep. Zulo to play that, but I thought she was going to put it on frame. If she had kept that low, yep. I think she would have had a shot. I, perhaps a little unselfish here. She had the 1v1, did have the player in front of her. Wasn't a terrible pass. Montgomery couldn't quite get there, but. Great defense from yep. Florida. because yep. They made, made it very difficult for Shea Montgomery to get on the end of that. Another missed opportunity for the Gamecocks. And that's what Coach Shelly Smith wants to see from Karina Zulo. Yep, use her speed to set things up. Goldberg sends that one to halfway. Here come the Gators. Got Peace way out in front there. Tudis sends it towards the top of the box. It'll get through and knocked away by Jacobson of South Carolina. Erica Roberts was crashing in for the Gators. Three minutes to play here in the first half. Peace up top. We'll play it wide. Into the 18. Fala with the block. I'm not out of danger yet. Here's Grambo. Battling her way in to the top of the... 18, and that shot is over everything off the foot of Erica Roberts, the freshman from St. Petersburg. Obviously, both these teams want to win. I think when and if either one of these teams gets a goal tonight, there might be a sense of relief that, okay, maybe this will open the floodgates for us, the way they've both struggled offensively in their last four or five matches. Here come the Gamecocks on the attack. Zulu again. Her service is blocked, and the Gamecocks will have a corner kick. In South Carolina, they they have had several goals, like we talked about in the open, Cat Berry and Shea O'Rourke with three apiece. Yep. You know, I think once someone earns a goal, that maybe there will be more belief, more confidence. And I think all the other players will feed off of that, and same with Florida. You know, Florida's feeling defeated, and, but at this point, they've got nothing to lose. That's why they're playing the way they are. Jaleesa Harris with the corner. Try to bend it in, shot blocked off the foot of Render. Lily Render had an opportunity, but it was blocked by the Gator defense. She'll play it back out to Jaleesa Harris. She's gonna look to reserve it, takes a nice touch, but Peace does a great job getting between Harris and the ball. Goal kick here. Jaleesa Harris, an all-conference defender, but she can play some offense too, formerly an all-conference midfielder earlier in her career. And has a big leg. 
Final ticks of the first half here. We're still scoreless after a couple of scoring chances for South Carolina in the last few minutes. But again, nothing to show for it. Both these teams struggling to put the ball in the net. Goldberg up top. Faulkner, Montgomery looking for the steal there. 10 seconds to play. Gamecocks get the steal. Cam Dixon. He's got someone in front. Gets it in and shot wide. And that'll do it for the first half off the foot of Evelyn Hahn. Well, a flurry there at the end, but we're where we started. <laughs> Scoreless at the intermission between South Carolina and the visiting Florida Gators. We'll step aside, we come back in just a little bit. We'll have some stats, highlights, and Nancy and I will talk about what either team needs to do to get on the board in the second half. We'll keep you abreast of what else is happening in the SEC as well. Scoreless at halftime here in Columbia. South Carolina, 6-2-3 and three overall coming into tonight. 1-2 and two in SEC play. Florida at 2-8 and eight overall, 0-3 oh in league play. So we'll see what happens here in the next 45 minutes. See if somebody can find the back of the net. Both these teams looking to snap out of some offensive slumps and get some rhythm here in SEC play. Team swap ends of the pitch here. And Breeze hasn't played too much into the game as we thought it might with the, the heavy winds coming in because of Hurricane Ian. Perhaps the wind will stay away until later tonight when this is over and done with. All right, let's see how these two teams come out in the second half. South Carolina on the ball. We're underway in half number two. Quickly looking for a deep ball for Peyton Patrick, but broken up by the Gators. Follow the freshman with a quick throw in here. Playing it wide to Patrick. Patrick back inside. Opportunity for Hahn. Plays it to the middle. Was looking for Barry, but Barry couldn't get on it. Oh, but a great look, great com com combination with Evelyn Hahn. Wasn't sure if Barry thought that was supposed to go to the player to her left or couldn't get there quick enough. Missed opportunity right off the bat. Here's another chance perhaps. They were looking for Han inside. Couldn't get it to her. Here's Cat Berry trying to make the turn. Out to Sam Chang who's going to hit it with that left foot off of her for yep. goal kick. Tough break there as it went off the gator then back off of Chang. They were hoping for an early corner kick but nothing doing. So South Carolina with an aggressive start here in the first minute of the, of the second half. And we'll see if they can sustain that energy. Now for South Carolina, it's been about connecting multiple passes. See what Florida can do now. Well, have to wait as they turn it over. Shea O'Rourke to Cat Berry. He's going to take a shot well, was a far out. Yeah, cannon shot too <laughs> far out there. Maybe hoping for a rebound with O'Rourke crashing in. But you know what? We didn't get that look from her in the first yep. half. She's got such a strong leg, she can knock a keeper back into the net. Gamecocks with some early attack here. And Goldberg will look to send it to halfway. Both teams had four shots in the first half. Gamecocks put three on frame, just one on frame for the Gators. Now here they come the other way. Corey Peace, who's been very busy in the first half, started things off for Florida. And Laskowskis on the ball, looking to get more central. It's going to play it out wide to Maddie Perello. Perello sizes it up, makes a move. Top of the box shot, curls wide. I don't think Hinn's got a piece of it, so it'll be a goal kick. Wow. That had some bend to it. Yeah, and Perello does such a great job faking the shot and hits it with that right foot. No bend on that. She hit that solidly. Yep. In sends that one towards midfield. Couldn't get a lot on it. And you see the problem is Florida's there to win that yep. first ball. Peace keeps it alive for Florida. Now to Perello, who had that nice shot a moment ago. Gators doing a good job of linking up here. Here's Perello. Back to Peace. Peace with some space. Oh, great save by Florida. Yeah. Try to bend this one towards the top of the six. 
Gamecocks able to get it out. Cat Berry's got O'Rourke to her left along the sideline. Hahn in front of her in the midfield. See if O'Rourke can catch up to it. Gators track it down, back to Goldberg. Oh, but a miss clear hits her own player, Goldberg. See if the Gamecocks can take advantage. Sam Chang will settle under it. Up top, Barry. Barry facing the goal, hits it with the left foot, straight at Goldberg. Yep, Goldberg didn't have to move. Gamecocks are getting some chances here in the first four minutes. But Goldberg didn't have to work hard for that one. Cat Barry with three players on her still gets that shot on frame. Barry's going to get her share of shots. In fact, she leads the SEC in shots taken. She's led the Gamecocks in goal shots and shots on goal the previous two years. But right now, nobody finding the back of the net. A little Meg there. Perillo, nifty move. Hugo breaks it up momentarily. Here's Perillo again. Looking left, ball broke, broken up, but they get it back. Here's a shot, and Heather Hins wisely backs away from it. Otherwise, perhaps it's a corner kick for Florida. Good, and you can see Florida was doing a great job moving that ball quickly. It made it hard for South Carolina to, to get a handle on it. Nifty turn here, and the shot by Tessa Barton. Yeah, Barton actually had a goal against Georgia, which was called back. Yep. Barton played three years at Colorado before transferring this year. Was named to the Pac-12 All-Freshman team back in 2019. Her lone goal this year was against Texas. Had a pretty good strike there. Five minutes into the second half, though, we're still scoreless with the Gamecocks and the Gators. Harris, under pressure, gets it off. And you see all these passes are very rushed because Florida's pressing South Carolina. Yep. There are times to, to keep it and play through that pressure, and there are times to just relieve that pressure and get that ball out of your end. Trying to keep it off the foot of Barton. Here's Dixon on the other side for South Carolina. Jay O'Rourke. O'Rourke, the New York native, unable to do anything with it. Up near Buffalo, in a wheat field, New York, is Shea O'Rourke. Perello again. There's Barton now. Gators looking for a strike. He'll play it wide, Grambo. Grambo, service, nothing doing. Now Cat Berry the other way. He's got Hahn in front of her, she'll send it deep, but good header there by Madison Young, the sophomore. And Cox were looking for Eveline Hahn. Quick throw in. See if Han can make a turn here. Han in the box. Cat Berry trying to make a move. Oh, and a nice defense again by the Gators to break up that opportunity. Yeah, that was De Leon again. Took away a shot in front of the goal. She's got her hands full, but she's done a great job keeping yep. her feet moving and not diving in. Looking for O'Rourke. O'Rourke had to back up so as not to be offside. And Barbara or Goldberg is there. Alexa Goldberg has started every match the last couple of years for the Gators. Sends that one past halfway. There's Peace. Looking to play it wide, trying to get on a run to the outside. And Fala will knock it into touch. Ooh, and going down hard on her hip. One of the Gators, let's hope she's all right. I think that was Madison Young. No, it was Perello. Gators will toss it in here, trying to get on the attack. Had a flurry of activity the first few minutes. Gamecocks put some pressure on early. Now it's the Gators trying to return the favor. Here's Peace. Broken up again by Delaney Tauzel, or Tauzel. Here's Cat Berry in the midfield, and the whistle and the foul on Florida. Game 
Wilcox on the move. Follow the freshman defender. Gators really pressing up here, hoping they can catch the Gamecocks into a turnover, and there they got one. Jaleesa Harris under pressure. Send that one past halfway. And a great flick. Deleon will play it back to Goldberg, the keeper. Grambo settles it down, sends it to midfield. Oh, and there's an aggressive takedown there by Laskowskis. Sam Chang plays it quickly. Kat Chang has spent some time with the Canadian national team. Here comes Tessa Barton with some room to operate in front of her. She's got Perello out wide to her left, piece in front of her. Maybe kept it a little too long as Hugo breaks it up. Looking for Shea O'Rourke, the freshman along the far sideline. He's got Han in front of her and taken away. A great recovery. Goldberg under pressure will send it to the near side. We're 10 minutes into the second half, still scoreless between the Gamecocks and the visiting Florida Gators. Chang looking for Barry in the midfield. Barry trying to make her move to O'Rourke. O'Rourke near the top of the box, has it blocked. She's Back to Barry. Nice. She's in the box, she gets a left-footed strike straight to Goldberg. Good save there by Goldberg. It's a pretty good look for Kat Barry. Her and O'Rourke playing well off of each other there. Yeah, and O'Rourke worked really hard to keep that ball in play. And kept, she kept it down in this final third. Gamecocks turned away once again. Barry with four shots tonight, three on frame. Again, she leads the SEC in shots, but so far, Goldberg hasn't let anything get by. Yeah, she's been striking it very well. Yep. However, her shots have been going straight to Goldberg, so. Yep. She's got to do a better job of avoiding her, hitting it low into the corners. Both teams looking for a spark on offense. Trying to build some momentum. If you're Florida, obviously this season has been a struggle. You're rebuilding, it's a first year coach. Can you take more chances? Because maybe there's, I don't want to say there's not as much to lose, but right now the way the season is at two and eight, 0 and three in the SEC, just try to take some more chances? Yes, I think you do have more freedom and I think they, <laughs> Corey Peace, I don't know. Yeah, that was a little delayed. <laughs> blade of grass there. <laughs> um, but I do feel like the team has, has bought in to, to Coach Bohan's um, theories and philosophies and coaching styles. And I think they understand that it's a, it's a process. It's not going to happen overnight. They just have to get better every game. Yeah, if you play with that nothing to lose attitude, you can steal one on the road perhaps or just get, you know, get a win that you weren't supposed to get or get a good, just a good result and yep. try to build on that for the, the following year. Whereas, you know, South Carolina was in the top five just a couple of weeks ago, but. And I feel like they've been thinking too much yeah. and being very reactive. You know, they, they've got bigger goals right now of getting back to the postseason and making a run uh, like they did last year towards the, the Elite Eight, which is realistic for them this season if they, if they can be more consistent on offense. But right now, the offense continues to struggle. Right, and we know great defenses can keep you in games, mm -hmm. but you're not going to win games unless you can score. Yep. So they've got to find a way, both of these teams. Florida in the attacking end here. Up top it comes DeLeon. towards the middle of the field of Gonzalez, but broken up momentarily. Now 
Mike Tarzell. And great patience by Florida, just moving that ball, trying to create some gaps and space to play into. Laskowskis plays it wide. She can turn and shoot quickly. Here's Grambo. Lays it off for Roberts. Grambo again. Inside the box, knocked out by the Gamecocks, and the Gators will retain possession here. Gators with a lengthy possession in the attacking end here after a lot of pressure by the Gamecocks. You can see Florida's really going for it. They've got most of their team forward. You've got yeah. Goldberg. Yep. She was probably 30 she yards out. You know, ready to just reserve that ball. Kind of a quieter night here with fewer fans, as you might expect, with the hurricane approaching and the not when this game was supposed to be played. South Carolina leading the SEC in fan attendance coming into tonight, but having to play on an off night in front of a <laughs> hurricane is going to hurt that number. But the graveyard shift is here. Yeah, you can hear <laughs> the drums banging. They've been going since the, the opening kick. Here's Bem trying to catch up to it in the near corner. Can't get there. Not a bad look from Sam Chang playing it down that right channel. Just overhit it. Oakley Rasmussen back in, the freshman from Utah for the Gators. Grambo under pressure along the sideline and into touch. 15 minutes past here in the second half, and we're still scoreless between the Gamecocks and the visiting Florida Gators. Gators trying to snap a five-game losing streak. We're going to see a foul there. <laughs> yep, yeah, there was someone of the Gamecocks <laughs> go flying as Jacobson was sent fall of tumbling towards the Gator bench. Yeah, uh, Gonzalez <laughs> took her out. Got her money money's worth on that whistle. That's the type of ball that we usually see from Harris. Zulo trying to catch up to it. She's got it for the Gamecocks. Plays it up top to Barry. Makes the turn. Shot. Goal! Cat Barry with her fourth of the season in the Gamecocks. Break through and find the back of the net. And so many things went right in order for that to happen. You, set, you had Jaleesa Harris hit a great ball over the back line. And Kat Berry does such a great job. So you've got Zulo, she cuts it back, plays it into Kat Berry, who hits it to that far post, nice and low. Nothing Goldberg could do on that one. All right, so let's see how both of these teams respond. These next five minutes are critical. Right, this is when the team that scores usually lets down. And this is where Florida's going to pick it up another notch. So that gives the Gamecocks a little momentum. They take the lead, just their second goal in four matches of SEC play. And now from a South Carolina standpoint, they'd like to see the floodgates open. They've had some good movement here in the second half and created some opportunities. And they finally were able to finish. Now here come the Gators. Looking to equalize that. Broken up by Cat Berry. She likes how it feels, scoring yeah. a goal. She wants another one. That's her 18th career goal. And for Zillow getting the assist. It was her second assist of the season. Cox will bring it in in front of their weight room and locker room building across the way that was built just a few years ago. Corner kick here for South Carolina. Either 
fourth corner of the night. And you can see South Carolina is getting the ball forward a little quicker now. Megan Spees will take the corner kick for the Gamecocks. Cat Berry is going to line up near the near post. No. Yep, the Gamecocks are going to pop out to that six. Is looked that like, off the keeper's gloves? Yeah. Looked like Goldberg punched that out. Pretty good play there by Goldberg, but it'll set up the Gamecocks with another corner, this time from the near side. Gamecocks have outshot the Gators tonight 8-6, to six, but of the Gamecocks' eight shots, six are on goal, just one on goal for Florida tonight. Spees will take the corner once again. She'll be taking it with her left foot. Might see some bend on this. Towards the near post. Follow up, blocked. That may have been off a of Gamecock. Gators coming out of there with it. They're looking to get, flip the pitch in a hurry, but Zulo steps in front. And Zulo's going to play it all the way back to Heather Hens. He's like going to have a foul. That last shot may have ricocheted off a of Gamecock <laughs> in, the, in the mix there. It was a pretty hard shot. And there are a lot of players in there. We'll take another look here, see if we can catch it. Watch on the rebound here, the shot. Yeah, I think it hit Jaleesa oh, Harris <laughs> in the backside. Looked like Sam Chang <laughs> ripped that shot and hit her own teammate. <laughs> Gators quickly trying to flip the pitch, but Harris is not so fast. She'll send it back the other way. One nil Gamecocks on the goal by Cat Berry a few moments ago, her fourth of the year to take over the team lead in that category. Chang gives it back to South Carolina. Look at the aggressiveness by Loskowskis trying to create a turnover in a 1v1. Allie Meadows plays it out to Cam Dixon. Dixon, the defender, will set things up. Oh, nifty move on the outside. Down to Cat Berry Cat again. Shot, and this time saved by Goldberg. They are finding Cat Berry. Her sixth shot of the night. And Cat Berry's doing a great job just working off the ball, really trying to get open to be that target for her team. Still a long way to go in this one. Not even quite halfway in the second half. Lost it to touch, Gamecocks will have it. Zulo flicks that on. To touch Gamecocks with another opportunity here. Jacobson will throw it in for South Carolina. Well, Gamecocks got the goal. I'm sure they'd like to get some insurance now. Yeah, this game is long from yep. over. Throw in, looking for who else? Cat Berry. She'll try to make the turn. Dead up top to Haley Meadows, Jr. Playing just her sixth game off the bench, coming off an injury last year. Spies yep. crosses it. A little too much on that. Doesn't say in. Sub in for the Gators. Ashley Tudis back in, the freshman from Palm Harbor, Florida. And she'll pick up Laskowskis, who's been all over the place tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if she comes back in. Yeah, probably just a breather here, but we saw what she could do in the first half with that quick turn and cannon. Opportunity here for the Gators as that slips past Fala. Tatum O'Coin trying to make the turn on Harris, and it stays in. And Heather Hens will <laughs> finally pick it up. <laughs> that was just a great defensive effort from yep. Fala and Harris. You can see Fala was beaten. She ran to the inside knowing Harris needed cover. 
where the Gamecocks have been a little bit living dangerously this, uh, this evening with some passes in front of the goal. This time they worked it out wide and sent it down the sideline, which I, I saw you kind of breathe a, a sigh of relief there as the <laughs> former defender. Of, like, no, don't make those passes in like, front of the... <laughs> like, please, no square passes in front of the goal. <laughs> well, a piece of you dies every time that happens, right? <laughs> or you can hear your old coaches. It takes me back, yep. <laughs> Here's Kat Berry. Drawing a crowd, as you might expect, with what she's done tonight. Madison Young takes it away for the Gators. Fala trying to catch up to it under pressure from Roberts, and Hins will pounce on top. Hins sends that one to halfway. It finds Cat Perry. Looking for Zulo. Zulo did such a good job of setting up the goal. See if she can get involved again as Evelyn Hahn checks back in for South Carolina. Yeah, and Evelyn Hahn did a great job in the beginning of the half as well. Yep. She does a great job just playing off of Kat Berry. She'll pick up Berry. Jacobson. Cox trying to form another attack here. Made a good start to this second half. Some opportunities early, then finally broke through in the 61st minute, and that one will reach the 12th row. Yeah, Floater's doing a great job pinning South Carolina on one side, but if South Carolina can find a way to switch that point of attack, there's so much space on the other side. Nothing doing there. Talked about the Gators maybe taking some more chances. Well, obviously now there's more of a sense of urgency trailing here on the road. So we'll see if they press more forward. And you can see they've got Gonzalez, and she <laughs> she's an aggressive player. I watched her play against Georgia, and she, she had a few chances. She's got a physical presence in the box. Jacobson around a sea of Gators, and that one looking up top, but nothing doing as Han unable to catch up to it. Here's Zulo. Her service in front of the goal. Just missed. Perhaps a shot here, and Goldberg is there. Well, Cameron Dixon running onto that. Couldn't put enough on it. Still 1 0 Gamecocks. 19 and a half minutes to play here. Cat Berry with the second half goal. Count for the scoring for South Carolina, her fourth of the year. Zillow's out in front of this. See if they can get it to her. They do. Into the 18. Offside. Now. Second time the Gamecocks have been whistled for that tonight. Here come the Gators. Rasmussen trying to settle it down. Stepping in front is follow the freshman. Evelyn Hahn in traffic now. Both these teams have tough ones coming up a week from today. As we told you earlier, Florida plays host to three-time SEC champion Arkansas next week. Gamecocks hit the road for a top 25 matchup at Mississippi State. I mean, but let's be honest, there's no easy team no. <laughs> in the SEC. Other games tonight, top 25 SEC action. Fifth ranked Alabama's in Athens tonight taking on Georgia. And Texas A&M is at 12th ranked Arkansas. Gators looking to play it to the wide side to Tutis. Inside and headed out by the Gamecocks. 
And I feel like there's so many strong teams in the SEC this year. There's no one dominant team. So it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. Yep, Arkansas obviously is the three-time SEC champs, but they've got a lot of new players. I think they had 15 newcomers on their roster. Still obviously a very dangerous team. We got a chance to see them here a week ago. But Alabama has been a, a fun surprise this year with what they've been doing. They've been very good. Still 3-0 in SEC play as the Crimson Tide. That one, oh. All over, the way over. The over everything. <laughs> into the road. Yep, that would cleared the, the fence and the tall trees, and that's rolling down the road. <laughs> Peyton Patrick back in for the Gamecocks. She'll pick up Spees. Patrick had the other SEC goal for the Gamecocks this year in their win at Georgia. Follow with a good boot there, looking for Han, but broken up nicely by the Gators. Zillow trying to settle it down. Zillow had the assist on the goal to Barry. The give and go here, opportunity. She's got some wheels. Zillow, service was blocked, but she gets it back. Jacobson with a touch inside. Just good composure. Here's Meadows, trying to play that one through, gets it back off the carom. Out to Cam Dixon now. Peyton Patrick trying to make the turn into the 18. Right in front of the goal, and Goldberg is there, wow. Had a couple of Gamecocks crashing in, but Goldberg able to pounce on top of it. One of the Gators a little slow to get up. And Peyton Patrick does such a great job just getting around that turn, that corner and pokes it in with them right there. But Goldberg yep. does a great job scooping that up. Good defensive work there by the Gators and Alexa Goldberg. Came into this match second in the SEC in saves. I believe she's got six tonight. A couple of subs in for the Gators. Sid Kennedy checks in, a senior and a Fall River, Nova Scotia. And back into the contest, Corey Peace, who's been very active tonight. Kennedy has one goal this year, the game winner in their victory over South Florida. Gators trying to snap a five game losing streak, but trailing here with under 15 minutes to play. Opportunity here for the Gators. Yeah, quick counter, Florida. Got Kennedy on the near side, but Hins will step in front. You can see Florida is ready to pick off those passes and get a quick, quick transition. We got lots of numbers forward. Yeah, they've got to get forward now. Fala splits a couple of defenders. Han. Bim couldn't track it down after the hitter. Gators trying to get forward here. Opportunity, Fala. Will get it to her keeper, Hins. Hins under pressure. Will send it wide. And that'll roll into touch. So the Gators will keep it alive here. That was a tough ball for Heather Hins to play under pressure on her left foot. Hancox trying to clear it out to the other side. Gator, Gators keeping it in, in the uh, attacking half. You see the Gamecocks are just packing it in. Grambo with the service here. Hens measures it, pokes it free. Follow up blocked by Hens. And then kicked out by Jaleesa Harris. Wow. Gators had a chance there. Yeah, it was interesting. You could see the Gamecocks just dropping off, dropping off. There's no, I didn't see any confrontation until outside of the 18. Gators. Keeping the possession the last couple of minutes. Saving it from going out with Sid Kennedy. 
Yeah. Oh, Peace with a nice, well, she's not going to get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> she knocked Fall to the turf. You can see Florida playing with a sense of urgency. It's getting physical. They're playing quicker, playing more direct. They've let some physical <laughs> play go tonight, but that one, no. Not that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Harris sends that one. Can Zillow catch up to it? Keeps it in. And Bam, who's been all over the place. Yep. Sam Chang trying to catch up to it, taken away by the Gators. Under 12 minutes to play. Some subs in now. Tessa Barton back in for Florida. Kat Berry back in for South Carolina. She'll come out for Zillow. Abby Hugo also into the contest again for South Carolina. Florida will throw it in in front of the Carolina bench. Still time for the Gators to get the equalizer. And again, no overtime this year. Jacobson can toss it down the line. Cox have outshot the Gators 11 to 7. Barry to Bem. Bem just outside the 18, no whistle. And a late whistle here. And a foul on the Gators as Hugo went to the turf. Peace is going to argue her case. To no avail. Watch the play here. Got her from behind, I guess. A little hip check. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jaleesa Harris will restart things. Opportunity for the Gamecocks as we approach 10 minutes to play. They'd love to get some insurance and try to put this one in their back pocket. Harris didn't get much on that. Flicked forward, but... Easy save for Goldberg. That was Kat Berry. Couldn't get much on that one. She was at her back to the goal, and tried to spin and shoot at the same time. This is dangerous now. The Gamecocks are a little out of shape with a lot of Florida players coming forward. Lost into touch for the moment to South Carolina. Gamecocks leading 1 0 on the second half goal from Cat Berry in the 61st minute. Assist by Karina Zulo. For Berry, it was her fourth goal of the year to lead South Carolina. Grambo plays it ahead to Tozzle. is going to try to get that ball forward. Yeah, they can afford to press up a little bit now. We're under, under nine minutes to play. This one into the 18. Hins comes off her line and pulls it down. Midfield. Laskowskis wants to check back in. You knew she wouldn't be out for long. Yep, they're getting their best attacking players in. Got Peace up top with her speed and Laskowskis great on the ball. And you know Laskowskis isn't afraid to <laughs> shoot from distance. Rasmussen. Pass to get him up top. Rasmussen with a shot just wide. 
That was dangerous because I'm not sure Heather Hens could really see the ball in all that traffic. Yeah, I think she was screened a little bit. Didn't have much on it, but just wide. Well, just went through a couple Gamecock players. Yep. If it didn't have any spin on it, it would have been on frame. One of the better opportunities of this second half for Florida, but Rasmussen just misses wide, and the Gamecocks still lead 1-0 here. Fala takes the goal kick, tries to get it to half, but no Gamecock players there to win that first ball. That one will get through. Goldberg will settle under it. Under seven minutes to play. Gamecocks clinging to a 1-0 lead. But anything can happen. We just saw an almost a moment ago. Grambo. Peyton Patrick trying to settle under it for South Carolina. Get their feet tangled up there. Florida wanted a foul. They're not going to get it on that one. Here's Sam Chang, and she lost it. Oh, goodness. That was a chance for South Carolina to at least bring it down deep for a while. Yeah, kill, kill a few seconds. Either get on the attack or take it down to the corner because there was a lot of green in front of Sam Chang, but she lost it. Uh, Harris is... Lisa Harris has the right idea. Just, you need to get that ball forward into those corners. Yep. Cam Dixon now at halfway. Peyton Patrick. A couple of Florida players there. Yeah, send it down. Make everyone go down there and get it. And let precious seconds tick off. The clock is Florida's enemy right now. Yeah, and Florida's just sending numbers forward, and they're playing pretty direct. And Harris with another deep ball there right on cue. Still time, obviously. Gators trying to get forward here. And turn it over. Sam Chang plays it down the line. Cat Berry pokes it. Madison Young able to get it back for the Gators. Five minutes to play here in Columbia. De Leon, she's trying to get some, get forward some, and she's going to look to play that ball forward. Gamecocks trying to hold on for their third straight win against Florida and get back to 500 in SEC play. Gamecocks in no hurry to throw this in. Down the line, looking for Barry, and that'll go into touch. The well, players got their feet tangled up. We'll play on. Gators on the move here. They've got Kennedy to the wide side. They'll feed it to her. Kennedy into the 18. Jacobson pokes it away. And it'll be a corner kick opportunity here for the Gators. Don't go anywhere yet. First corner of the night for Florida, and they've got a chance to get the equalizer with under four minutes to play. And just like that, Kennedy did a great job getting on the inside of Taylor Jacobson. Lenny Tozel will take it. Yep, they pulled another Gamecock player out. Up top it comes, Grambo. Sends it in the middle of the 18, headed out by Fala. Missed opportunity there for the Gators. They've still got it. Harris with the big header. Meadows to Cat Berry. Who's just going to play it down that line. Yep. Sam Chang trying to catch up to it, but it will roll into touch. Three minutes to play. Florida is really going to have to get it moving now. Yeah, if, they're, if they have any chance, they're going to have to get that ball forward quickly. Final three minutes here in Columbia. Gamecocks trying to hold off the Gators. Tom 
Time has stopped for a moment as another ball had trickled onto the pitch. But now back to play. Here comes Florida. They'll play it along the near side. Rambo out wide on this left flank. She's got it now. Trying to make her move against Jacobson. The Gamecocks also have to be careful on their defensive end, not fouling and giving yeah. up a foul in a dangerous area. Good ball there by Fala. She gets it all the way into the other end. And right now, that's all South Carolina wants. And Barton was hoping that ball ran by her so yep. she could run onto it. Lucky it didn't hit her in the hand, hit her arm. There's going to be a foul on South Carolina. They'll put that on Sam Chang. Two minutes to play. Gators with an opportunity here. Rambo to start it. You see the foul here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Again, just because it's it has been so physical, the st things they have let go. Either way, opportunity. Barton fighting for it. And we'll see another corner another kick. Another corner for kick. Yep. They had none until the last three minutes or so, and this another opportunity. Their second of the night. A couple of subs in. Claire Griffiths back in for the Gamecocks, along with Karina Zullo. Maddie Perillo in for the Gators. Clock stop now. See how the Gators play it this time. They've got almost everyone on the far side. Yeah, this is where it gets tricky. You've got these Florida Gators the running new, into yep. the box. Now they attack the post, but that's over everybody, and it'll roll into touch on the other side. Gators have had two corner kicks in the last couple of minutes, but didn't really get anything good out of it. Clock ticking, almost a minute to play here. Gamecocks would like just a couple more deep kicks into the other end. Trying to catch up to this is Josie Curtis, under a minute to play now. Can the Gators get one last attack? Gamecocks have won five of the last six with a tie against Florida and two in a row. Into touch, South Carolina ball. Half a minute to play here in Columbia and Karina Zullo, or the Gamecocks, will not be in, in any hurry to throw this in. Gracie Fala. Barry. Good ball again by Barry. To make things difficult, Goldberg. Just trying to get it forward. Through the legs, Fala will send it the other way in a smart play, and that could do it. Goldberg's got to hurry. 10 seconds to play here in Columbia. That one comes to halfway. Gamecocks will get it forward, and that'll do it. Gamecocks pick up their third straight win against the Florida Gators. They improve to seven, two, and three overall. They get even in SEC play at two and two. Well, the Gators have now dropped six straight and dropped to two and nine overall, 0 oh and four in SEC play. Second half goal by that young lady, Kent Berry, her fourth of the year, set up by.